everybody say hi to Yi Chong, our producer, the man that makes all our cool YouTube videos. And model Kiana, you know why we're out here? We want to do a test. Yi Chong suggested that, hey, you have been shooting off-camera flash for a good 10 to 15 years. And that 10 to 15 years, you have always used manual powered flash. And he suggested that the flashes these days are really good. The TTL technology is really awesome. Should I still be calculating light using the lightest cheat sheet, no inverse square law and still use full manual power flash? Would TTL work? Let me honestly tell you, 15 years ago, I tried the TTL on OCF. They don't work. They get disrupted a lot because TTL fires your flash twice. A pre-flash and the actual flash. So it's calculated automatic flash. And this is what we're going to find out. I have a radio trigger up on my camera here, which is a Godox. And Yi Chong is holding a Godox TT685. Not a new model, but decent enough. Every time my flash goes off, that will go off. We're going to shoot exclusively on TTL today and see whether it works. And if it works, I don't need to calculate light anymore. You need two things. The first thing is to have a flash mounted here and run this on a TTL. And another flash here mounted on a handle like this with a swivel. This is pretty handy. And you need a third thing, a voice activated producer, like a light stand. So it's going to be holding this. And I'm going to teach you very quickly how to set this up. This is a radio trigger. So you don't need line of sight. The first thing we're going to set up is the channel. I'm picking channel 2. So if this is channel 2, there has to be channel 2 as well. Now, different flash would have different setup. Suffice to say, you need to be on the same channel. And then the next thing is that each flash has a number. At this point, I strongly encourage you to head on to my premium courses, where I taught my subscribers how you can use your flash remotely. We go through extensively on S1, S2, how to set up groups, how to set up channel. If you love what I teach in YouTube, with the great Yi Chong producing all our content, I can assure you what you get with premium courses and all access is going to be worth your while in learning photography. So back to this. This is a group A flash. I've set this as A. Or if I have more flash, I can set it as B. But in this case, it's just one flash. I'm going to come to my A. I'm going to set this to TTL. And then when you go over this side, make sure that you press this button here and select this symbol. And all you need to do is choose slave. And every time you fire your camera, the flash goes off automatically. Just to prove a point, you don't need line of sight. And radio trigger is fantastic. I'm going to go there. And that's the beauty of having a radio trigger here. You see, you don't need line of sight. It's still firing here. Hey, are you a wedding photographer based in Kuala Lumpur or Selangor? or specifically Petaling Jaya, you want to check out this very cool place. This is in IKEA, in IPC, right? Just down here, there's a full metal staircase that's two level up and down. So the next time you have a photo shoot for your bride and groom, or maybe even your model, look at this awesome composition. There's so much depth. That's top down, that's the blue and the yellow color in the background. You know what's the best part? The best part is we are outside IKEA. You don't need a shoot permit. Try this. One, two, and... Whoa! <laughs> this is just too bright. Oh, I'm on plus two. So I'm gonna bring this down to zero. The beauty about TTL is that you don't need to yell. If it is a main light, so keep it to TTL zero. Bend your arm a little bit. Good. Oh, perfect. Look at that. All right. Swing that flash away. We want to see a before and after. One, two, and go. All right. I like this. One, chin up. Good. Oh, this is so nice. It's just that that stupid pillar is coming out from the head. No, not your fault. Oh, awesome. Close your leg a little bit. Oh, this is so easy. 
I don't have to worry about how much power, inverse square law, lightest cheat sheet. Right. Hey, you know what I was thinking? It's just one flash. That's why it works almost flawlessly. TTL has a pre-flash. When you have more than one flash going off, the pre-flash may get disrupted. So we have two flashes now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold that. And then you add a rim light. Let's see what all these pre-flash will interfere each other. Okay. So this is group A on TTL. I'm coming to my trigger here and scroll this down to B and change the mode to TTL as well. You good? Okay. Channel 2? Channel 2, yes. Good. Two flashes are firing. Let's see how they mess up each other. Whoa, this is so awesome. Look at this. I am so stoked with this kind of shot. Though you may say that the rim light at the back is a bit strong, but I love this kind of feel. This is an awesome way to shoot. The only thing that's not awesome is that holding this and this is like... Okay, so you can flip it this way and that will be more bearable. Oh, fantastic. You know what? Turn your flash away. I want to see what it looks like without. Right. This is without and this is with. Awesome. You know what I'm thinking? That you should have put a down light, put your flash down on the floor. And I'm going to, since we have two flashes on TTL, I'm finding ways how I can screw it up, disrupt it. So I'm going to bring down the power to negative two. Yep. Chin higher, higher. Okay, take it away. I want to see what's the effect. It's negative two. I'm going to put higher and see what happens. They always say, don't do down light. Let's do down light and see what happens. Chin higher. Turn back to me, your face. Ooh, not too bad. Oh, there's a bit of down light. Make sure it gets the face, ah. Right. Look outside. Whoa, look at that down light. This is wrong, but awesome. Smile a little bit. Oh, I like this. Take it away, I show it before and after. Chin higher, same pose. Oh, I like this. Look at the glow of the shadow and the feet and all that. And viewers, here are the photos that we took with OCS on TTL. One or two flashes. Enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching. That concludes today's episode of Let's Find Out How Well TTL Performs as OCF. And here's the thing I want you to do. If you like to watch our channel and you enjoy our video and our straightforward way of teaching and finding out things, please subscribe. I noticed that many people watch our channel, but they don't click subscribe. Do us a favor. For us, growing this number is important. When we grow these numbers, we have brands coming in and say, hey, you got a lot of subscribers. Can we sponsor more video so that we can have education available for everyone? So do us a favor. We can do better than this. This is sad, right? I mean, after running for like nine years, 10 years, and we have 220,000 subscribers, let's do more. Subscribe. Thank you. And I hmm? promise you, the security guard is disturbing us. Show them. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, f This is not something that you can put your knee down. You feel like, ah. You know how you torture a photographer? Grills like this. Ugh. For like 25 years, I've... I didn't shoot flash 25 years. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. My photography career is 25 years. Oh.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if, it through, if it goes through, you and I panic, right? <laughs> There's a loophole in quantum, right? Never leave until you see the police truck here and then they say, Sir, we are here to detain you. Then you stop shooting. <laughs> right, Yichong? Do you see any police truck out here yet? No, right? <laughs> Don't do that, kids. <laughs>